you reckon they got in through the back? Yeah, so we reckon it was drug addicts. Right. Yeah, they took all the drugs. Yeah, we had a whole packet of Beecham's, bottle of Night Nurse, it's all gone. <laughs> Don't surprise me, from where I'm standing, there are 145 points of entry into this shop. Are there? Yeah, listen, try and keep me out. What? Right. You see? <laughs> That's why you need this. Uh, normally, I'm asking to school this system in zoos. The glass is soundproof. Why do you need soundproofing in zoos? Well, otherwise the kids start calling the lions pricks. Oh, right. <laughs> it's a very good system. You know, the CIA. Uh, yeah. They don't use this system. Uh, they probably use something a lot better. Oh, right. right yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I always read something about the CIA. You know, apparently they've got this stationery, right? Looks perfectly normal, but uh, when you write on it, uh, it dissolves. No, it's bollocks. Right, look at this. Very simple. When you're going out, just press the uh, arrow five to arm. And to this arm, just press the uh, three three six nine eight eight five four two one. <laughs> three nine nine. You listen to me or what? What? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you want me to go through it again? No. No. That's fine. Hi, Bernard. The alarm system's on. It prevents the door from being open unless you put in the code. It makes it more secure. Uh, the, the glass is soundproof. All right, the glass is soundproof. <laughs> the thicker glass... You know what you are? You're a beard with an idiot hanging off it. <laughs> well, here I am. Listen, uh, your friend here's got all the details, so uh, I'll be off. <coughs> but uh, certainly remember the three S's. The three S's? Yeah. Security, security, security. Three S's. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't get you what you were saying because of your amazing lisp. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, what did you tell them? We got them through the back? Yes. Yeah, it wouldn't do to let them know we went out and you left the front door open, would it? Yeah, but what sort of world is it where you can't go away and leave the front door open without getting robbed? It's this sort of world, Gandalf. <laughs> All right, this is the main lock. You arm it by pressing zero, five. Um, hello? Yes, oh, what? no, I am going to pay that bill. I am. Yes, I know. Yeah. No, I... Yeah. Excuse me, could you... Hang on, sorry. What is... Yeah. Yes? <laughs> oh, you agree completely with everything I'm saying. That's terrific. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> How much for these? Forty pounds. They're worth more than that. These are good hardbacks. Tolstoy, Turgenev. I know, I know, bear. I know. But I don't want them. I mean, you know, I'll have to price them then and put them up on the shelves and store them and people will come in and ask about them and <laughs> buy them and read them and come back and sell them, you know, and the whole hideous cycle will just go on and on and on and on, you know? <laughs> Just please, take them away. Go away. Sorry, no. It won't work. Here, look. Here. Here. There's 40 quid. Just take them away, please. I got it. Aha. Uh -huh. Give, 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 give. Oh, my give. God. What? It's Howell. Howell Granger. I was at college with him. Well, go and say hello. Oh, no, no, don't, no, don't. He confuses me. What? He confuses me. He's... He's a total asshole, but he's got this voice and he just does things to me. Fran? <laughs> My God, what are you doing here? Oh, hello. I have a shop. Um, I mean, I, I, I work next door. Oh. Um, how, how are you? Oh, I'm great, you know. Still beavering away in Radio 4. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you look fantastic. You sound well. Oh, thank you. Well, I hope so. I'm doing the shipping forecast this evening. That's good. Oh, well, I suppose I'd better shuffle off before I buy something. I'm voracious at the moment, Fran. I seem to be swallowing books whole. Absolutely devouring them. I'm ravenous. Anyway, <laughs> number, should you wish to give me a tinkle? 
<laughs> Goodbye. Arrivederci, Francesca. <laughs> hey, Genghis. <laughs> it's your cinema night tonight, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to see Arm Apocalypse. You want to come? Do you know, I don't think I will, no. Fran and I are meeting for drinks. Aren't we, Fran? Shipping. <laughs> Trying something new. Absinthe. You know that one? You know that slogan, the, the drink that makes you want to kill yourself instantly? <laughs> Looking forward to that, eh, Fran? Forecast. <laughs> That's right. Do you think I should wash my beard? I think you should wash it, yeah. And shave it off. <laughs> Nail it to a frisbee. And fling it over a rainbow. All right. What was the last film you went to see? Uh, oh, that one. You know, the, 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 the astronauts. What, uh, Armageddon? No, no, before that. Um, you know the one at, at the end, um, he goes... Um, you did it! You finally did it! And then you see the Statue of Liberty on the beach. That, that was the last film we went to see, Planet of the Apes. Yeah, amazing effects, you know. You really believed monkeys could have meetings. <laughs> yeah, and you've not been to the cinema since then? No. It's all tossy cock. Yeah, well, it's better than staying in and getting mashed every night with no company except the dead bees on the windowsill. I like the dead bees on the windowsill. At least they don't go out and leave the front door open and get us robbed. <laughs> don't get judgy with me, Ming the Merciless. <laughs> uh, listen, show me what, what's the what's the what's the story with this alarm thing anyway? How does it work? What do you what do you what do you do? Right. Now you press you press what is it? Zero five to, to, yes. to arm it. You press it. zero five, and then you go out and it'll lock automatically. All right. Okay. And then when you come back in, uh, you punch in the code and the lock will open. Sorry. First question. What? When I come in? Yes. After I come in? Yes. But how do I get into the locked door? Ah! Well, you see, that's the clever thing. All right, yeah. Uh, could you repeat the question? I'm outside. Yeah. The door is locked. Right. The keypad yep. is inside. Right, sorry, so how my can fault. I possibly yep. enter the building? What my fault. fault. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. Okay. No, no, the thing. Uh, the, um, yeah. The, okay. the code. So, so, thank you for that. Yes, yeah, sorry to bring this up again. How do I get in? The code to opens the door. I know the code opens the door. But how do I get in to punch in the code to open the door? OK, for the moment, just tell me the code. There was a little man. <laughs> there was a little man. That's the code. No, no, no. no. I, I didn't actually hear the code because he had a little man in his hair. Well, the little man in my hair is getting very, very angry. <laughs> what are you talking about? He had a Subutio player in his hair. I got distracted. <laughs> so, essentially, what we have here is a security system that doesn't let anybody in or out of the building. Yes. Yes, including us. Yes. We'll get used to it. All right, OK. <laughs> How do we get used to it? What's the problem? Look, it's very simple. Right. I'm outside. Right. The door is locked. <laughs> Now, basically, what happens now is that you... Wait a minute, I see the problem here. You have to get in to punch in the code. Right. Is this locked now? Uh, I can't hear you, Bernard. Uh, I'll just punch in the code and, and let you in. <laughs> you can't... Have you locked me out? Just one sec. <laughs> Uh, okay.
just relax. Relax. When you find yourself in a desperate situation, you can find edible grubs or roots. Even insects can provide ample nutrition. It's vital to stay warm and have adequate liquid. Uh, morale is just as important as adequate hydration. You may find it absurd, but an old-fashioned sing-song has seen many a lonely soldier through a long night in the wilds. Hmm. I'm in the mood for dancing, romancing, and hailing. Crunchy. Excuse me. Seems to be some sort of mistake. I bought, I bought a drink and some popcorn, and, and now I have no money. That's how much it costs. Why, is it special popcorn? Does it produce some kind of dizzying high, or...? Kind of place. trap set up. <laughs> now, wait for Rabbit to approach. Huh? Rabbit? I'm going to get a rabbit. <laughs> it is vital to maintain radio contact. This might sound a bit funny, but could I please have 10p? Joking, aren't you? No, please, could I? Please. <laughs> Nasty night out there. Yeah, yeah, very freezing. Yeah, oh, wouldn't want to be stuck out there. Oh, a lot of, I think a lot of low air pressure, you know, came down from Abernethy or somewhere like that, and it's just. It's Is big... that right? Yeah. Now, what can I interest you in? Oh, yeah. Right. Okay, I'd like some hardcore pornography, please. Right. <laughs> yeah. Set in a woman's prison, twenty-five quid. Do, did you have anything in a, in a town hall, you know, where the, the women guess the weight of the cake and then? No. <laughs> 
Got one with nurses. What kind of nurses, though? You know, they... The kind with big tits. What do they do, though? Are they in administration? That's the kind of thing I'd want, really, you know, a lot of <laughs> hospital paperwork and that kind of... That's very specific. Yeah, well, you know, just keep looking, we'll find something. Can you turn the radiator up? Administrative nurses. Forty quid. Sorry, the... I meant to say senior administrative nurses. That's the only thing I'm actually interested in. <laughs> could, could we watch it together? You know, maybe we could get a bottle of wine or something and... and... Out! What are you doing? What takes this long? Northwest Finisterre. <gasps> I'm a lonely soldier. <laughs> Come in. Come in. This is lonely soldier. <laughs> My coordinates are... Bookshop. <laughs> so Lundy, Fastnet, Irish Sea. Hello? <laughs> German height. <laughs> Southwest, <laughs> Spearing West, <laughs> five to seven. Please, wait, no, how? Please, come back. How, how, how? And now, a book at bedtime. Joe Pasquale reads Heidi by Joanna Spire. The pretty little town of Mayhemfeld lies at the foot of a mountain range. Uh. <laughs> Whose grim, ragged peak? Uh, uh. Behind the town of Does the, um, Mamba burger come with zesty cheese? No. OK. Uh, then could I have some hunky dunkers with barbecue, hunky donkey dip? Uh, and a mucky chocolate milkshake. What size? Small, medium, Goliath or God? <laughs> One hunky dunkers, barbecue, hunky donkey dip and a medium mucky. That'd be four ninety nine. The, um, the thing, I'm a little light at the moment. Uh, actually, uh, uh, this uh, this belt is, is made from real leather. Feel us, Bob. Have a feel. If you're not eating anything, you'll have to leave the premises. So immediately, sir. I will do so immediately. <laughs> sir. <laughs> I will do so immediately, sir. Oh. Hello. Hello? Who is this? Hello? Is this you, Mummy? <laughs> I can hear you breathing, whoever you are. You're beginning to test my patience. I know there's someone there. Right, that's it, I'm hanging up. Don't hang up, Hal. Fran? <laughs> Is this you, Fran? Are you all right? Are you in any pain? Do you want me to come over? I'll come over, Fran. Do you want me to come? I'll come, Fran. I'll come. I'll come. Fran! Fran, my God, what's happened? Fran. Hello, Hal. Sorry about that. Fran, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you. I just, I just caught my foot in the fridge. Oh, um... Anyway, thanks. Come 
Um, is it still raining outside? Uh, yeah. Right, welcome to the thing, whatever this place is. Okay. Um, can I have... Uh, what do you want? A mamba burger, mamba burger, please. What do they look like? It's sort of two layers. The wrap. What does the wrapper look like? Oh, uh, it's the it's the red and red and white, I think. There you go. There you go. No, 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 no. Just, just uh, this, this, this. All one. right, there you go. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I think that's it. And bacon or something on the top there. No, that's not. That's not it. <coughs> That one that's is very nice. Yeah, not that's 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 not not try it. it, it's nice. Give it a that's shot. Not it. There. That's not it. It'll be nice. Have it. Give me a quick. Um, can I get some chips as well, please? How many? What? Roughly, how many? Come on. 40? Right, two quid. Um, I am the Diet Coke. No, 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 no. Coke's off! Coke's off here! Have some extra chips. Can I have a member chili dog? It's still raining. No. again. Huh? Well, there's nothing left to take. What did they get? Well, as far as I can make out, they took the security system. <laughs> Thank Christ for that. <laughs> What's up with him? He drank all our absinthe. I'm a lonely soldier. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm putting a cold flannel on his head. Why? They do that in the films. <laughs> Where were you when I needed you? Oh, yeah, Bernard. Uh, something came up. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. Um, what, what did you do? Oh, just my usual night out, you know. Went to see an experimental film where nothing happened for two hours. <laughs> Hung out with a pornographer, got a job in a burger bar. You know, the usual. Bernard. What? Bernard, I'm, I'm sorry. Forget it. No, there's another thing. What? I ate it with Bill. What did you do? I ate it with Bill. What did you do? I ate all your bees. 